Welcome to Milton Artists Guild Social Sundays put on by the Spark Community Grant. Today we will be making Valentine's Day cards. Here's a couple examples of the cards that I've made. And we're going to start with going through the kit and then coming back and we're going to start with making this tree card and as an example to get your inspiration going and then you can make any cards you want you can draw it you can come up with it you can um, make it happen in your kit you should have four cards right so two whites a blue and a purple uh, card you should have a whole bunch of six by six decorative papers. Some of these, some of these are two sided um, to spark your inspiration um, to use in your project. You also have um, uh, primary color construction paper in many colors um, in your kit. You have a half a sleeve of stickers. A glue stick um, and a small bag with words um, cut out like this love so you have some loves and you have some be minds um, so that's what's in your kit what you will need from your house is a pair of scissors you know just something so you don't get glue um, so something to put under your products you don't get glue on the table and a couple of writing utensils you know nothing ne fancy needed crayons colored markers colored pencils I have just a pen and one colored marker and another pen a different color to get started we're gonna start by making this tree on the front of one of our cards so the first thing we're going to do is find in your kit, you have four brown papers that have a tree printed on them. Right, so pick, you know, you don't have to use all these trees, they're just for example, um, pick one and using your scissors, start to cut it out. Now this tree has many branches, has a base, many branches, you can use all or none. Uh, of them you can um, draw your own tree on the back or on one of the other colored papers and make it completely your own tree so we're gonna just sit here we're gonna cut out our tree um, and it doesn't have to be perfect we don't have to, to get all the lines cut off because we'll glue this down and if there's any lines left over they'll be on the back side. So the next step, now I'll put this aside here, is to make some hearts um, to put on our trees to you know kind of where leaves would be so we're going to take a strip about one inch you'll cut a strip of one inch paper any color you want to be your hearts I'm going to use this pink uh, mostly because it's easy to see and I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise And I'm going to make a perfectly symmetrical heart by doing this. I'm going to draw half a heart onto this paper with my pen. I'll use my marker. And then we'll draw another heart, leaving a space here in between. Same here, another heart, and another heart. Now I'm left-handed, so you may be drawing your hearts with it flipped over on this way because you're right-handed or if you're left-handed you'll do it like me
you have many different colored um, craft papers, right? You have from pink to red to green to blue to purple to orange. You can draw on and cut stuff out. You can use um, things like this as a border. So you could cut out a strip and put one strip on one side of your card and another strip on another side of your card. So that's what I did with here. I cut out a border. You have word sayings that you can stick down. You can personalize and write your cards and make anything you want. So on the inside of my original card, I put the word love. I double stacked two hearts and I used this piece where we cut out the hearts. I opened it up and shaped it so we have these missing hearts and stuck it down in my card. This is my dinosaur card. So I have dinosaur tracks with fallen hearts on the front with the border. And on the inside, I drew a dinosaur who is collecting uh, hearts. When you're done, personalize your card, sign it, um, and give it to someone you love. Thank you for taking your time out and picking up our, our fun kits and have a great time.